For the cheapest AR-15 magazines that I can find, go to Apex Gun Parts, Sales and Deals, and scroll down until you see the 10 military surplus steel magazines for 60 bucks. Yes, these were originally designed for the Setme Model L, but they're almost 100% identical to our AR-15 magazines. As advertised, some of the mags are tight in AR magazine wells. I tested all 10 with lowers from Spikes Tactical, Wyndham Weaponry, Air Precision, and Anderson. Of the 10, 4 were tight enough to where they would not drop free. Also as advertised, there's no last round bolt hold open as that function doesn't exist on this MAL, but you can change out the followers for modern ones. Mil-spec followers like this one from PSA worked, but Magpul followers will not work. The shortcomings I've mentioned so far don't bother me personally. Having to strip them out and run the bolt isn't any different than running AK magazines in an AK. Also, these are cheap enough to where they're disposable. If I'm shooting in a place where I could easily lose them, have them stolen, or I could loan these out and not stress about not getting them back. These are the types of scenarios where I plan on using them. I have plenty of Gen 3 PMAGs and Lancers that I can call upon, but I wanted another option for when I know I'm going into one of those less than ideal situations. Now for reliability. The first time I took them out to the range, I loaded all 10 mags up with four rounds each just to see what I was dealing with. Of those 40 total rounds, I had three malfunctions and two of those were from the same magazine. Before this, the AR I was using had been 100% reliable, so I do attribute all the problems to the magazines themselves, uh, specifically the followers, as they tilt in every direction. My next trip to the range, I loaded up four of the magazines with 25 rounds each. Of this 100 rounds, three of the mags were flawless, and the fourth had three malfunctions. Taking a closer look at that magazine, uh, that follower in particular has a lot more play than all the others. While I was there, I conducted an experiment. I took the follower out of a Palmetto State Armory magazine and swapped it with one from the Setme L. And then I loaded both magazines up to 25 rounds. The Setme Model L magazine I picked was the one from the first test of four rounds that had a 50% malfunction rate. By choosing this one, I was trying to isolate if it was the feed lips or the follower causing the issues. The results were the PSA magazine body with the Setme L follower had zero malfunctions and the Setme L magazine with the PSA follower had one malfunction. Moving forward, I'm going to keep strict records on round counts and malfunctions. As of right now, 190 rounds fired isn't enough data to say if these are a good or bad buy, but I wanted to get my current findings out to you before the election. I'll make a more conclusive review in about two months after I've put several hundred rounds through these, so consider subscribing to my YouTube channel to find out how testing goes, and keep a lookout. Now that I have the option, I'm going to be doing a lot more run and gun type stuff with guns like my Rhodesian FAL, which will be coming up soon, short shorts included, and a review of the Rhodesian chest rig. Thank you for watching everyone, hit the like button on your way out, and if you know of any great magazine deals, Put them in the comments below. Thanks.